Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can use Meta Tailor to dress your metahumans inside Unreal Engine 5 completely for free. If you haven't heard of Meta Tailor before, it's an application that lets you dress 3D characters of any size. I had the chance to check it out earlier in its development, so mine may look a little bit different to yours, but the process is still the same. So inside Meta Tailor, we are going to be greeted with the base male character, but we want to use our metahuman character. In order to do that, we need to export the body as an FBX. We click on our metahuman, go to the body, and then click this folder icon to bring up our body. This will bring up the location of where it is in your project, and then we want to right click, go to asset actions, and export as an FBX. And in order to bring that into MetaTailor, you want to go to import and then click on avatar. I've already done this, so I can just go into where my avatars are and find the body. So this is my metahuman body, and now we need to import our set of clothes. To do so, I'm going to go to clothing and accessory and find where I saved my outfit. I'm going to hit open to import it. So this is the outfit that I've just imported. It's a police outfit, although it is looking a little bit plain for now. So we're going to import the textures. So go to the color and put in the clothing diffuse. We can also put in the normal. And now that all the textures are applied, this is the outfit as a whole. So now MetaTailor is going to ask you what this kind of outfit is. There's obviously a bunch of different options here, but for me, what I use best because this is just a pretty much like a one piece outfit, I just use the jackets and I hit next step. Now this outfit is unbelievably small in comparison to our MetaHumans, so we need to scale this up and you can use the shortcuts in order to move around a little bit quicker. And we just need to make sure that this is somewhat the same size as our metahuman body. Might do it just a little bit smaller. Um, the accuracy isn't hugely important here. Um, obviously you can see it's just a little bit bigger, but that's okay. So from here we'll hit confirm. And now we need to start the pose match. Now the next step is to start our pose match. The pose match allows you to move around the body parts of our character in order to fit the outfit because they might not be in the exact same pose, hence the term pose match. Now, one of the great things about this is it doesn't need to be extremely accurate. You can have little bits sort of sticking out if needed. And Meta Taylor does a really good job of pretty much doing a lot of the work for you. And once you're happy with where everything is in the pose match, you just need to hit confirm and click on next step. From here, it's going to do the pose matching for you. And as you can see, it is pretty much fitting our character perfectly. There are some bits that are sticking out here. So you are given a bunch of different tools you can use to fix up little spots where the mesh might be colliding with your character. So I'm going to use the push and pull here. I'll sculpt on the layered and just clicking into this. We'll start to pull our outfit out. You just want to search for any areas where there might be bits of mesh poking through, but this is looking pretty good. And now in order to bring this into Unreal Engine, we're going to have to go to export. It'll give you a bunch of different options. I'm just going to pick to choose the save location and save where I need it. Now in order to bring our clothes into Unreal Engine 5, we're going to import content. In our content folder, we'll create a new folder called clothes and hit OK. Find where it is that you exported your clothing to. Mine's right here, so I'll click on the FBX file for that and hit open. We want to make sure that our skeleton is set to none, otherwise it's going to import with hands, which we don't really want. From here, we're going to import our skeleton mesh, zero out its coordinates that it's fitting our character. And this looks like a pretty good fit, except it doesn't have any textures. So in order to bring the textures in, you can see that it did come with some textures, but they're pretty much empty. So I'm going to grab our diffuse texture and our normal texture, and we're going to bring that into Unreal Engine. Make sure we drop it into the content browser, and then we can bring that into our material. We're going to plug the base color and the normal map. We'll hit apply and save. Now this only seemed to apply to just the badge because it's a separate section of this mesh. So we'll just go into 
this one and change it to this one as well. And now we have our clothing imported from Meta Tailor onto our Meta Human. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful. I know that Meta Tailor can be such a huge benefit to your future projects and the power that it holds considering it's free is like, it's seriously incredible. If you want to know how you can rig the clothing to your Meta Human characters, make sure that you check out my previous video and I'll see you next time.